Then the FBI, our units picked up the vehicle. We followed it for a bit. We're able to contain it using some of our bigger vehicles that we use for specialized stops. We got the vehicle stopped. Uh, since then, the FBI and the Secret Service have responded to the scene. Uh, it does appear that we, we, we certainly have the vehicle involved in the incident at Mar-a-Lago, and we have the suspect that they were looking for. And now the FBI and the Secret Service will take over that investigation. So what's the process with that? Now that you have identified this vehicle, are you, have you, did you take them into custody, or is that all going into the hands of the Secret Service and the FBI? Well, we initially took them into custody and held them until the arrival of the federal authorities. The search of the vehicle, uh, looking for any weapons that may be in there, will now be up to the federal authorities and the uh, U.S. Attorney General. And then at this process, what was that like, stopping him? I know you were out on looking for him. Every law enforcement agency around this area was. What was that process like for you guys here in Martin County? Well, I missed the stop. I was on the way from home, of course. Uh, it sounded very tense on the radio. We knew that we had a bolo, be on the lookout for somebody who had opened fire on the president of the United States. I would say there's probably not a more volatile, potentially dangerous situation than that. Our units were completely locked on. We were... We were ready to go. Had the vehicle fled, we would have stopped it. Uh, of course, God forbid, had there been a gunfight, we were ready to engage. Thankfully, because of good tactics, stopping the car, felony stop, getting him out of the vehicle, coming back to us, we were able to stabilize the scene without any further violence. Give us a timeline here. When did you first identify that vehicle, and when were you able to finally stop him? It was just right after 2 o'clock this afternoon following the BOLO, the BM lookout that we received from south of us, that uh, our road units picked the vehicle up. And then uh, we waited a while. We didn't stop him right away. We didn't want a high-speed chase. So we were able to wait until we had adequate units, surrounded the vehicle, and then forced it to a stop. I know this is a fluid situation, but did the suspect put up any fight, or did he stop once he realized there was multiple vehicles there following him? We did not give him an opportunity to put up a fight, so we had him contain him contained, forced off the road, taken out of gunpoint, pulled back in what we call a felony stop, and he was safely taken into custody. And as you said, you believe this may be the suspect and the vehicle involved in the incident down in Mar-a-Lago. I know it's still a very fluid situation here. This is the vehicle, and this is the suspect, and he is in custody. So is he in the custody right now at the Martin County Jail, or is he taken somewhere else because of the involvement down in Mar-a-Lago? He is currently in custody uh, by the Martin the sheriff's office, my agency, but as soon as the FBI Secret Service are ready, we'll transfer his custody over to them. Final question for you here. Obviously, a fluid situation out there on I-95. It's going to be shut down, I would imagine, still for a while. What's the process out there, and what's your warning for drivers headed around this area? Yeah, if you're northbound on I-95 and you're approaching Palm City, we're right here in Palm City, Florida, get off and go to the turnpike. We had to clear the vehicle with an explosive vehicle on loan to us, an explosive from uh, the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office. A contact with us and let us know we had all the FVP help we wanted. And, of course, we're profoundly thankful that we were able to neutralize the suspect and to hopefully increase the uh, safety for D President Trump. One other question. Can you tell us what kind of vehicle it was, what you found inside? It, it was a, uh, let me let me leave it at this. It was a dark colored, middle year SUV, but I think the specifics will be released by the federal authorities. Sheriff, is there anything else that's important to note about what you guys did here at this scene or anything else that people need to know out there? Well, what's very important is this. We took as high a profile felon off the streets as is possible. We did it safely. Nobody else was hurt. And uh, I'm thankful to the men and women of the Martin County Sheriff's Office who put their lives really a significant risk. They had no idea what they were encountering. I mean, think about it. They're stopping a car. The bolo is for a, a suspect who had just fired at the president of the United States with a, with a, a tactical rifle. It does not not get scarier than that. Sheriff, thank you very much. We'll very well. keep you updated here. Coming back to me, as Sheriff William Snyder just said, they believe this is the suspect involved and it is the car involved as well. Obviously still a very fluid situation here in Martin County. We'll keep you updated.